All right, real quick, it's yours truly, Mr. Telefera. Before the video starts, it will mean the world to me if you follow me on Twitter, Instagram. That's how my business grows. At is Mr. Telefera on your screen right now. When you follow and subscribe to me, you become one of the pharaohs. That's how I talk business, and that's how you support a young hustler out here getting it. All right, Mr. Telefera TV, how's everybody doing? Sometimes I ask myself, I, I be like, yo, I be, I be finding stories, and I be thinking to myself, why is no one covering these stories or maybe like two or three outlets recovering these stories where where are all the blogs where are all the street blogs because shit is happening first and foremost i don't know if you've been away from music but there is an artist that goes by the name of nba young boy that has absolutely been on fire and y'all hear me on my platform time and time again y'all hear me say Yo, there's a lot of internet artists out here who I don't believe going to translate in the next four or five years, right? Well, I usually tell y'all behind that, I don't believe that those internet artists touch the streets the way they need to. I don't think they're doing the groundwork, doing 10, 15,000 a show, going and doing the clubs in the middle of the hood. I don't think a lot of these artists are doing it, especially these young artists who got the internet, who got a lot of white fans. They don't have to do that. They're making a lot of money off top for a show. But again, when their buzz dies down, all that momentum just kind of goes away and they can go from 50K a show to nothing a show because ain't nobody trying to book them. Well, you don't never hear me put NBA Youngboy in that category. Do you want to know why? He's having the best of both worlds. DJs mess with him because they believe he's a, a true street nigga. His music is in the clubs. But not only is his music in the clubs, ladies and gentlemen, He's breaking the internet. I don't put him in the category with them new artists because he's doing something that he's doing the best of both. NBA Youngboy's got a very dangerous brand. Go look at his YouTube. If you don't believe me, I seen him do 45, 50 million views on us on a record a month. Shit, millions of views on a mixtape that just dropped yesterday. And that leads me to what, what this story is about. NBA Youngboy can't do press. I reached out to somebody trying to get me a it was a middleman that knows me and it knows NBA Youngboy and his team. And I was like, yo, can I get that interview? That'd be an exclusive. And I was like, well, you know, he really ain't, you know what I mean? He ain't really on the press thing right now until he beat some legal shit. So I was like, oh, wow. He ain't even doing press right now for the most part. And he doing these numbers now? Man, y'all better look up. NBA Youngboy trying to future the rap game, bro. What do you mean by future the rap game, Pharaoh? Remember back in 2015? When, when Future, he had cooled off a lot, right? He wasn't... This was after, like, the the whole DJ Khaled wave, that whole, that whole little wave, the T-Pain wave. After that, Future was on a lot of hooks, and he had cooled off right after that. And I think a lot of people were calling it it. They were saying that was it for Future. Similar to how he is right now. Like, how people like, yo, it's kind of cold for Future right now. That's kind of where he was at 2015. And he dropped tape after tape after tape in 2015 with banger after banger after banger in 2015. One of those records was Marge Madness. That was one of his craziest records for the summer. Remember, he was dropping so many damn bangers. He just said, forget it. Let me drop an album. He dropped Dirty Sprite 2 that summer. Arguably his, and I know he's had bigger selling albums. He's had number one albums. But that tape might have been his biggest project because it culminated a year that he was having. Hell, after that, him and Drake was like, we winning so damn much this year, we're going to drop an album together. They dropped What a Time to Be Alive in September. Shit, Future dropped like five tapes in the year 2015. Five, six tapes. And I said all that to say that I'm watching an artist out of Louisiana, an NBA young boy, light up the streets in a similar way. Tape after tape. Ladies and gentlemen, these tapes are hitting with the people. These tapes are not just going away in the streets. They're hitting. And the brother ain't even able to do press for the most part right now. Doesn't really want to do press from what I'm hearing. He's going to have to change that. He ain't doing performances like that. He can't travel right now for the most part. So this dude is going to be dangerous when he's able to move around. If he's able to move around. That's why we be on him so tough. Like, yo, young boy, get your shit together. You're losing money. Easily could be 65, 70 book for a show right now if he was available to move around like that. Yo, I'm telling y'all, man, 
Call me crazy. NBA young boy. Look like he might get hot in the year of 2018. If he if he's on pace to drop maybe three more tapes this year, we're in May and he's already two three tapes in, right? Sheesh, man. We might be slowly. Remember when Future was on tape two for for 20. Uh, 15, we weren't saying he had took over rap. It was like after tape three or tape four. It was like, what, what tape was the, the one that just did it? When he dropped Dirty Sprite 2 that, that summer and he did the $1 show, we was like, damn, he out of here. So I'm just saying, be careful, y'all. You might be in the mix and you might be watching some something. You might be watching an artist heat up and shit. He might just take off this year. This might be the, the year of, of NBA Youngboy. 2018 might be his year. And the brother can't even travel like that right now. He's starting the future this shit for real, for real. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah!